You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and we're playing a Japanese import here, Dragon Ball Z Legends. It's, uh, I find this game very unique. It wasn't anything... there isn't anything like it back then. It's a fighter, but it has a really different mechanics. It's not like your standard fighting game. And I actually played this on the Sega Saturn before, uh, on my friend's house. And um, I'm just glad that there actually is a PS, PS1 version. And I just enabled the frame skip for, as usual, just to see how the frame rate goes so you could all see. I'll just skip the intro. I'll take him some time there. Uh, but yeah, I think that's actually normal. It's a, it's a game released by Bandai, of course. This is the story mode. It loosely follows, you know, the Dragon Ball Z saga from... Vegeta, the Saiyan arc, up until Majin Buu, the evil Buu, the little evil Buu. Anyway, just a few cutscenes there just to get you up to speed what's happening. Of course, it's all in Japanese. This never was released in other regions other than Japan. It's a shame because it's can actually be fun. The graphics are a bit dated by today's standards. The pixels are small and um, probably doesn't hold up well. So here I'm gonna be selecting which fighters I would um, use to fight. So it's actually maximum of three, but you just tag between them, but they all join in the battlefield simultaneously. So the main one will be Goku, that's who I'm using it. And as we follow the story a bit, it starts with Nappa, but you see I have I still have Piccolo and Goku is already here. So it's not a really an accurate representation of the story. And uh, we do a lot of chains. The point here is to fill up that power balance meter that you see there it has to go all the way to your favor so your blue oh wait I forgot how to charge here uh, block oh here we go and since there's three of us so you charge it up by doing all those uh, connects there that I just did. And the only way that their life will be damaged, your opponent that is, is if you fill up that blue bar. So matches might take longer than usual. Especially if you're just going back and forth. When your life does, when the power balance does fill up, you're treated to a cutscene, and that's how you damage the opponent. They perform their trademark moves such as Kamehameha, Gengidama. Depends on the character you're using, of course. can switch between your three characters at any time actually but it's better to stick with uh, whoever is your most powerful one in this case it's Goku because if it's say I chose Gohan it will take a lot longer because he's, his damage is lower So, uh, 
game looks good. Um, I don't see any graphical problems as of yet. And the sound, I uh, particularly love the sound and music that they use here. And so far so good. I switched to Piccolo here just to so we could see another um, special attack. Because if I do remember correctly, if I chose Goku again, he'll just do the Kamehameha again. At least with Piccolo, we should see something different. Alright, here we go. And as with the story, of course, after Nappa comes Vegeta. And um, it's no Dragon Ball Fighters, but there is a two player mode here that unfortunately if you don't have a USB mount you won't be able to do on your PlayStation Classic unless you did the mod where you load the games on the internal storage I'm not sure how safe that is these days I haven't really followed it so use it at your own discretion Switching back to Goku or Kakarotto as Vegeta would uh, call him. So the main trick there is to know when to do a counter attack when his when he's trying to counter-attack you as well. And that's how matches go, back and forth like that. So yeah, um, do I recommend this for you guys to load it on your classic? Mm, uh, probably if you you're a Dragon Ball Z fan yeah if not I'd probably pass it up to be honest part of the enjoyment here is to seeing all these characters perform signature attacks um, well the music is good and some sound effects are lifted from the series as well. But for fighting games, the matches tend to last uh, too long. If you're actually both good, you'll find that the matches will probably never end if you're of equal skill, so to speak. <laughs> Because, yeah, it will go blue and go, go red, go blue, go red, and then matches will just practically never end. There's no time over here. So there's that. But yeah, for Dragon Ball Z fans, go ahead and uh, try it out. And load it in your classic. It plays great.
And that's it for this video. You are watching 8-bit days a week. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Catch more videos of uh, me testing out other PlayStation games on the classic. Thanks for watching.